Welcome back everyone, meteorologist Stone Shaver here. Starting off on our KX cam, overlooking downtown Bismarck. Heavy snows entering the area right now could reduce visibility. Sort of hard to see across much of the state right now. Temperatures sitting at 29 degrees. The northeast wind at 16 miles per hour. Helping drop that wind chill down to 17 degrees. And out in the streets of Harvey, covered in snow already this afternoon. Temperatures sitting at 27 degrees. A northeast wind at 16 miles per hour. Help and drop that wind chill down to 14 degrees. Weather alerts, the whole state still in that winter storm warning up until Thursday, 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Again, we could see 6 to 14 inches of snow, winds at 40 miles per hour, uh, visibility reduced, could see some freezing rain as well. Roads could become untravelable as this system really progresses over the next couple of hours. Road conditions right now, travel just not advised, but you know we have snow-covered roads, we still have some ice-covered roads. This will change and be updated really do the rest of the day today as the system conti continues to progress. A satellite and radar showing most of the system right now uh, really do the central portion of the state and the eastern portion out to the west. Maybe haven't seen as much snow yet. Maybe just a light snow flurry there, but heavy bands right now entering areas like Jamestown and the Bismarck area. Uh, Visibility is again pretty reduced across much of the state, if not all the state seeing visibility issues uh, below one mile in a bunch of places across central North Dakota, right Right now, uh, temperatures across the region closer to average, those mid to upper 20s and some lower 30s to the east. As you move west, that's where we start to see that cool down into the lower 20s in the upper teens. That's where we're going to see that chance of freezing rain out here to the east as they get closer to freezing. Wind speeds in directions right now, we'll say 5 to 20 miles per hour from you know the northeast and the north. And again, these winds are going to pick up. We're going to see gusts most likely up to 30, 40 miles per hour over the next couple hours and for the rest of the week. Your high today really similar to our temperatures right now those mid to upper 20s lower 30s to the east those lower 20s upper teens to the west your precision cast is going to show that snow really start to build itself and this will really stay heavy for the rest of the night tonight into tomorrow morning and we'll see heavy snows probably most of the day tomorrow as well mostly out to the central and western portions through maybe the afternoon some lighter snows to the east as we get through Thursday morning just a light snow for most of the state that's going to stick around though this snow is going to last really the rest of the week, maybe even into the weekend. We can see light snow into Friday morning, into Friday afternoon. Again, visibility could still be an issue here. Travel could still be pretty poor uh, across the region as the snow just slowly moves out. Saturday could be a drier day, but then as we get into Sunday morning, maybe another band going to drop some more snow on us. And for our potential snow, uh, really through this whole system, we're looking at you know, lots of areas in that you know 12 to 16 range. We are seeing a, a sort of a band down the central portion of the state at 8 to 12. If you're out to the east, though, in between Jamestown and Fargo, could be be looking at 16 plus inches there. Your Dickinson three day forecast. Well, 22 today, 19 tomorrow, 15 on Thursday. It's going to be snowy the next three days. Williston 20 today, 22 tomorrow, 17 on Thursday. Your Minot seven day forecast shows 20s the next two days, snows the rest of the week. We'll see teens. Then we get to the weekend. Could be a little bit drier, but temperatures really start to drop. We'll see negative highs maybe starting next week. And your Bismarck seven day forecast 30s today, 20s tomorrow, then teens through the weekend, and then that cold air really. Reaches us uh, negatives to start next week, Kiara.